Members here we go from an average high of 58 degrees down to 46. We'll see the average low temperature dropping down below freezing near the end of the month. We lose about 54 minutes of daylight over the course of the month. The 30 day outlook is ended. It's calling for temperatures to be near average and for precipitation to be below average. So that would give us a mild dry month of weather, kind of like what we had back during the month of October. We could really use some rainfall going back to September 1st, running about a two and a half inch rainfall deficit, and this is mainly going to be a dry week of weather for us across the state. We've got a warm up coming our way. We'll see the high temperature in the 50s on Thursday and Friday and get the high temperature back in the 60s on Saturday and Sunday. A far cry from those 20 degree low temperatures we woke up to this morning. Well, coming up this weekend on Sunday morning, we'll turn our clocks back one hour. We'll go from daylight saving time back to standard time, and that's a good time to change your batteries and your smoke detectors, also in your weather radio and your carbon monoxide detectors as well. Overnight, we'll find low temperatures not as cool as they were last night. We'll get closer to that 30 degree mark for tonight. And then during today, tomorrow, once again, strong winds coming up from the southwest. Going to give us a milder day, so we're forecasting warmer temperatures for tomorrow. We'll get a lot of sunshine across the state. It's going to be a good looking day out there with the fair skies and the gusty winds. And we'll warm temperatures back into the low and middle 50s coming up tomorrow afternoon. In the forecast for us tonight, down to a low at 30 under clear skies, light wind from the southwest. Then during the day tomorrow, we'll get a stronger breeze, but not as chilly. The high at 53 under sunny skies. In the seven day forecast, the high at 59 on Friday, back in the 60s on Saturday. We change your clocks on Sunday, the high at 63. We'll see a chance of rain Sunday night through Monday. Monday's high at 60, then a better chance of rain coming up on Tuesday for election day, the high at 52. And we'll keep scattered showers in the forecast right on through Wednesday with a high at 55. Okay.